the warnings are all over. But it only took one person not listening for these two homes to burn. Uh, you could smell it, smell the smoke. It was all blowing this way, all the embers and some smoke. So we were scared or concerned that our house is going to catch on fire. Firefighters saved Brian Westmoreland's home, but they couldn't save the ones next door. But at the same time, when you lose all those personal items, it, it ticks you off that, you know, somebody being careless with fireworks, which, I mean, it's fireworks 101. Don't be an idiot. Around midnight, firefighters were called to Kimball Street in Parker. They say the fire started after the people who live in the home on the corner threw a firework into a plastic bin. When you get to reach a certain age, you realize, like, come on, like, don't be stupid. So it's a little bit, uh, you know, gut wrenching for us when we know that there are fires that can be prevented and we just want to do everything we can to try and prevent another one from happening. Eric Hurst got the word out yesterday about how to properly dispose of fireworks. He'll get the word out again today. So it's a non combustible can. You could also use a bigger container like a five gallon metal bucket or even a metal trash can if you want. But the whole goal of this is to fill it with water and completely submerge all of the used fireworks into that water. He says the same thing every year, but keeps responding to fires started in the same way. In the minds of firefighters responding to this at midnight, they're worried that people are trapped inside of these burning houses. The young couple and their little girl were asleep when the fire started at their neighbor's house, but they got out as flames first destroyed their daughter's room and then the rest of the home. But just knowing that you're responsible for burning not only your own house down, but your innocent neighbor's house down when they got a family, just not real smart. As we wait here in Golden for storms to potentially move through, firefighters also want to warn people if it starts to rain or hail, don't move that barbecue into your garage. That's just another hazard that they don't want to have to respond to. Yeah, certainly have their hands full over these uh, next few days, depending on whether it's the weather or the firework. Yeah, you just think, I mean, you're not supposed to do it to begin with, but why take a chance and then not dispose of it right or do it in a garage? It's, it, it makes no sense. None at all, Katie. Plenty of other good things to do. <laughs> Exactly, and I think it's frustrating for firefighters over and over to keep saying the same thing and people either don't listen or they're not seeing that message. Yeah, they want to be there for other things and not that kind of thing. All right, thank you, yeah. Katie.